What is going on YouTube and friends? You are here chilling with real Satoshi Aoki and welcome to an episode of Satoshi's Axes. Before I do continue on with this video, I do want to give a shout out to Jake at OnChain Gaming and Elijah at Axie on the Moon. I will leave their two channels in the description of this video. Those two have given me some inspiration to create some content on NFT gaming, blockchain gaming, this kind of space, and some content on Axie Infinity, a game and an ecosystem that I've been involved in with just under a week, but absolutely obsessed and absolutely loving it so far. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a particular build that I have been having some good success with. Been trying a few different builds and some have been working, but some, you know, for not so long and some better than others. And today's build, essentially is going to be plant in the front beast in the midliner and we've got an aqua as the backliner so let's jump in and have a look and then we'll take you through a game with the three alrighty folks so let's get straight on into this and find a game let's head on over to the arena I'll run you through the build as we're sort of playing the game so this is good folks we've got a bird here probably gonna be in the backliner got the beast and the typical plant there so wait for this one to load up against Qatar here and that's pretty good straight off the bat, guys. We've got the spicy surprise there and the vegetile bite. So we will actually play both of those ones there. And I'll check to see what he's got going on. He's got a vegetile bite there. I'm going to take the risk because I find that sort of, you know, 60-70% of the time, right, the tank doesn't... I don't play a move on the first round, okay? And that kind of does work out in my favor with this build. What I don't want to happen here is for him to steal my energy, which it looks like... I'm not sure he might be going for a play here. Okay, so he's giving me the double nutcracker straight off the bat. Okay, so lucky I put a bit of shield on. They're actually coming at my tank pretty aggressive in the early game here. There's no dark swoop on the bird, so I don't have to worry about a backdoor on the aqua in the back, which I need to keep strong for the late game. My tank has been worn down quite a bit, and unfortunately I don't think I got an energy steal, but I did manage to get the critical off there, so that does help. Okay, so into the next round, got a prickly trap. And I'm not gonna be able to play that because my horn card, being the prickly trap, is disabled. I do have three energy to use. So in this round, I think I'm probably going to actually skip this round, guys. I'm gonna skip this round. I'm gonna let the bird play. He's gonna put the chill on the plant. He'll stay alive. And unfortunately, my plant is going to be dropped here. So that's unfortunate, guys. It's gonna be, you know, a little bit challenging to come back from here. We'll see what we can do, okay? So we're just gonna take a bit of a risk and go for it, guys. I'm gonna go for single combat first up, follow that up with two ivory stabs, and we'll pop the lunar absorb, the cotton tail on the end. Got two energy remaining. I'm hoping the bird, please don't give me a lot of damage on the bird. I'm really hoping. Okay, that's perfect for me, guys. I managed to get the four energy off there with my beast, which was fantastic, because if I had a, my, if my beast had gone down there, it would have been very, very bad for me, but I would say we're somewhat back in the game now because the bird decided to reserve a bit of energy for the follow-up attacks. Okay, so they're gonna go now. It's gonna be back here. All right, got the single combat there with the draw on the beast. So I'm probably gonna leave that. Got a nice bit of energy stashed up here, seven energy here. I'm gonna start going at the beast. I'm gonna try and drop him with four now, guys. So I'm gonna actually increase my speed as well. So I'm gonna throw in the koi. I'm gonna throw in a couple more speed cards, okay? And we're gonna finish with the Hero's Bane. I'm gonna assume that the beast is gonna pop a shield on, okay? We've got three energy in the tank. Yes, he will. Only 66. And hopefully, guys, that should drop him because the Aqua is super effective. Well, he does get bonus damage against beast. And he's got three ticks there, which should be ended. Nice with the Hero's Bane, that's lovely. Last stand was ended there. Okay guys, so now we're on a 2v1 with the bird. Okay, I've got five energy in the tank. I'm gonna play the Lunar Absorb for sure. Now, I think, I don't think that I'm gonna actually play these two because I'm gonna assume the bird's gonna come all out and he's gonna try and drop my beast. But what I will do guys, I've got caught out here before, I will play my speed, okay? And I will play my Hero's Bane. And I'm gonna leave maybe three energy for the last turn. Actually, bugger it, let's play three. 10 seconds left on the timer. Sorry guys, there is a bit of slight lag here, so I do apologize for that. Hopefully when I get back onto my original monitor, this issue should be fixed, okay? Okay, so the act was going in. Guys, we might even drop him here. It's a really strong build, guys. Second one, Hero's Bane, and I think he's gone, guys. Yeah, we've dropped him. 
Yeah, really nice, cool. So as you can see guys, it's a solid build, okay? Got that plant up the front, the prickly trap, nice aqua up the back, all right, with double speed plus, and just a lovely standard beast with a cotton tail gain. And as you can see, we got the solid victory there, which was very nice. Let's see how much. Okay, brings our rank up to 13.58. So as you can see guys, I've been playing the game for, you know, just under a week now. So pretty happy with the rank. I think I start, think you start around 1,000, something like that. And if you're up at 13.58, you get, Eight SLP. Nice one. Alrighty, folks, that's all I've got for you in today's video. So I hope you did enjoy the content today and I hope you did enjoy seeing the build. Let me know if you've tried out the Plant Beast Aqua build. I think it's pretty, pretty beastly. I've personally had most success with it. By all means, there's going to be a plethora of different builds that work well for different people and for different strategies. And to be honest, that's what makes this game so fun. I'm so bullish on Axie, AXS, and SLP. Massive in blockchain gaming. I'm honestly. I am not more bullish, there's, there's no other altcoin that I'm more bullish on in the blockchain gaming crypto space. So if you enjoyed this video folks, drop me a like, and let me know if you do want to see more content like this, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.